Okay. Hey, Iris. You okay? What are you doing here? This isn't a day you should be... Oh, I know why you're here. You guys, you're so sneaky. So, one, uh, hey, what, what's poppin' guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, yes, I have green hair. <laughs> Do you like my ears? I think they're kind of cute, so I wore them today. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you my setup because it was requested um, a while back. I just needed to perfect a few things there's just a couple more things i do want to add to my setup so a video like this could possibly be changed in the future but for today i'm going to show you what i have but first before i show you everything else i want to talk to you guys about wtv gaming god i still have ears <laughs> um today we are going to be reviewing something uh i've not really done any reviews on my channel i think there was like a morphe review a long long time ago but we're bringing them back today and i'm reviewing something kindly sent to me by wtb gaming i am affiliated to them so if you want to use my code on their website uh please feel free to do so it is linked in the description box and it's izzy15 so they sent me over this mouse and um this was n like in just a coincidence but i didn't know what mouse they were sending over to me this is a gaming mouse and it matches my like setup laptop perfectly because of like the uh little hexagon like honeycomb vibes so this let me just show you the mouse out of the box it's all plugged in and ready to go but this is what it looks like and it's it's really sleek it's really pretty i really like it like it was it goes with everything really well and it looks really nice i feel like it's way different to the mouse they used to use so i have what i have uh here so you can definitely see the size is different but at the same time they are for different purposes so this is just a basic microsoft mouse i think i got this from like argos a long time ago two different like a main different Like a main difference between these two mouses is this is wired and this is wireless. Um, just from like getting the video started, this feels a lot smoother to play with than this one. And uh, we're just gonna go through like the features of the gaming mouse and how they're different to the mouse I used to use before. So what's different is obviously they're for different purposes. This is not for gaming. This is just for everyday people, everyday life. But of course you can use it for anything that you want to. This is just um, marketed as a gaming mouse. So there's multiple buttons on the gaming mouse that are featured on the Microsoft mouse. For instance, the forward and backward buttons. So obviously you can go like between pages and there is a super super long wire on this obviously you can't see it because it's plugged in but it's really really long and um i think that'd be great for pc users because you'd be able to plug it in from anywhere personally i use a gaming laptop so it's um i don't really need a super 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 long wire um but i feel like it would be great for pc players i'm going to be testing this out i'm going to be playing some among us to see what it's like today and I want to give it its full run and what it can do, but I'm going to see whether it's going to replace my normal mouse. Okay, so I've just loaded up Among Us and this is feeling like super slick. I'm just going to go on free play mode and just go on the airship because I actually haven't played this one yet. So, um, oh. So already just from like loading up Among Us, the mouse that feels super super slick and um, I have no idea what's bouncing on my head but I'm kind of living for it. So let's have a look at this map while we're here, this isn't an Among Us review but oh, it, it feels, I can't explain it but it feels so smooth. Like I feel like the other one was like clunky and that's not to shame Microsoft of course, <laughs> it was just obviously a mouse that served its purpose, it does its thing but because this one is for this purpose it feels really really smooth let's go on here what uh tasks do we have can i not open my map on here uh oh oh i have a task up here so let's just go and do that a second but uh, i feel like this is going to be great in minecraft that's what i feel like i feel like it's going to be a really good mouse <laughs> to use uh for especially for the camera in minecraft so i'm definitely have to try that out but let's see how we do let's pull this out 
I'm... I don't know. <laughs> this is so weird. Like, I'm so impressed with the quality of this mouse. Like, it just feels... So smooth. Like, so far, the only personal, like, flaw is the how long the wire is. But that is because I'm a laptop user and the length uh, doesn't work for my space but that isn't a problem because i could just tuck it away but i'm not finding any problems with it like it's not sticky it's super smooth i'm not even using a mouse mount underneath it and it's super smooth so um before wtb gaming sent over this mouse you guys know i was using the microsoft mouse there was nothing wrong with it it served its purpose but the gaming mouse just feels completely different you might think I sound stupid saying that, but honestly it feels really smooth, the mouse buttons are less noisy, you know, less clicky, and one amazing plus is obviously the PC players having the super long wire, and you know, as I said, no, it's not really for me since I have a laptop, but for PC players it would be perfect. If you want to check out this mouse, it's available in black and white on their website, and that's all linked in the description box. Whilst I was editing this video, WTB Gaming sent over their ebook for me to check out, and let me tell you guys about it. So the book includes seven different pathways into esports industry. It goes into great detail about competitive gaming, skills, getting into the right pathway for you, um, attending tournaments, events, and plus so much more. This ebook is available on Amazon, so be sure to go and check it out. You will not regret it. I'd really recommend WTB Gaming to you guys. And if you want to shop anything on the website, be sure to use my code is 15 for 15% off your purchase. All of the information is linked in the description box below, including their social medias and uh, this particular mouse. I'd just like to say a huge thank you for to WTB Gaming for sending this mouse over to me and uh, doing this collaboration with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Back to the setup. And I'm back. <laughs> so um, let's get into all of this and I'm going to be showing you everything I have and kind of new things and new additions that have come into the setup. As you guys can imagine, the most recent addition to my setup is the mouse kindly sent over to me by WTV Gaming. I know I've said that in multiple times in today's video, but I'm going to say this again. And it is, if you do want to get anything on the website, feel free to use my code IZZY15 for 15% off your purchase. They've got so many things, including loads of accessories for gaming, and I'd really appreciate it. Please go and take a look. Everything is linked in the description box below. So, my laptop. Obviously, the main star of the show. I love my laptop, and... I don't know what I'd do without it. So on the screen are all of the, like the model, the RAM, the gig of my laptop, just so you can guys can have an idea of what I play with. Um, there are other multiple things on my desk as well, but I do want to zoom in on my keyboard. Honestly, I, I love this thing. <laughs> it makes me so happy the fact that it flashes rainbow, but there are loads of other things to look at. I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a, um, a look at this because I feel like it's super cool, I know multiple keyboards do this i'm just fascinated by it um so my camera my camera is something that is actually a new addition to my gaming setup i used to use it for beauty all of the time when i used to film makeup videos fashion videos but i have uh, found a way for this particular camera to be able to connect it to my laptop and work as my webcam i'll explain a little bit of how i did that uh, later on in the video but it's currently just standing on a like a little box that I got from Legoland a couple of years ago that has my name on it. Um, I don't have anything to permanently stand it on, but I do keep my mirror. My mirror is in my setup all the time because if I'm streaming or filming and anybody comes into my room, I can see them and then I can stop or just pause so that I can talk to them and I know they're there and they don't scare me because that's usually what happens. Genuinely, if my sister walks in, she scares the life out of me because I can't hear her with my headphones in. It's just... Um, it really works for me. Something you might have noticed in my setup, and you can see it in the mirror, is my LED lights. These things have changed the way that my background looks. It looks super cool, and I can change it to multiple colours. So if you guys want different colours in different videos, let me know. So now I'm going to talk to you guys what I use to edit and what I use to film. What I use to edit is it's something called HitFilm Express and honestly it's one of the most amazing um, free editors I have ever used. I've linked it in the description box below where you can download it. I also recommend DaVinci 
um, because it is also uh, free and it's super easy to use. What I use to film is XSplit Broadcaster and I also use Streamlabs OBS. So um, this is my ring light. I thought I'd show you this because it's placed on the wall and it's um, in a particular place where it just it just lights everywhere up and um, this one you can get for about £10. They change colour, they're super cool. But um, I'm just going to give you now a little overview of my setup and then I'm going to talk to you guys about my camera. So I'm going to let you guys look at this and back to normal, Lizzie. <laughs> also, how I get my footage onto my laptop, I use this little memory stick here, which has a uh, SD card side and a micro SD card side. And inside of, I can't get it open, but inside of this bit is one that can fit into my phone and then this side is just a normal USB so it can go to my computer. Really really handy, I recommend you get one of these. So there's actually a couple other things that I wanted to show you that are here that I've managed to work out have how to do so let me show you that. This right here guys is my camera, I got this off of Amazon and if I can find it I'll link it in the description box but basically it says on here if I can just get it to focus, there we go, it says a PC camera on it and that means the, the wire that it charges through is running all the way down into my computer and that is what making it be my webcam which means it's a lot sharper. This is the only camera I know personally that will be able to do this without a sort of, um, I'm pretty sure that Elgato makes something called a is it cam link which means you can link any camera to your computer or laptop with no problem but this seems to have it built in which is amazing so if i can find this camera i'll link it in the description box but my setup isn't really you know i have my big tv here oh my god i have a peely over there sorry about that um i have my uh, nintendo switch here as well which sometimes goes into my laptop especially when playing switch games um i don't really have a lot i have a little down tdm over here because i love down tdm um, but there isn't a lot actually going on to be honest. I do want to turn maybe the TV into a monitor at some point, that would be a fun project. But um, there is a lot of things that are still in the development, so yeah. So I just want to show you that I also have a lot of makeup stuff on my desk as well. So I usually move my laptop and I'll put my makeup stuff out. So I have my brushes behind here, then there's a little YouTube um, like plaque thing that I made for 100 subscribers and I have a clock back there. Uh, behind my mirror is just like a little cuddly and uh, my, I've laid my headphones out down here. This is a bag full of makeup brushes and all my makeup is actually in a case which is down, it's like a NYX case. If you do want a makeup tour, I mean I can do so, I have quite a lot of makeup but just let me know, comment it down below. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it today's video and if you did, please consider giving it a like down below. Also down below is the subscribe button for my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you smash that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. All my social medias are linked in the description box below, including Instagram where you can see beautiful pictures of my face. You can also follow me on Twitter, Twitch and TikTok now. You never used to follow me on TikTok, but I have a TikTok account now of a few little TikToks, so please uh, show your love over there as well. I am thinking about streaming on Twitch because I feel like that would be better for me to stream on, so go follow Twitch and turn on the notifications. It was so amazing having you here today guys and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!